I'm uh, Jeffrey Tom, and uh, I have a Nintendo Lego Nintendo case that holds a Raspberry Pi 3 running RetroPie. Um, right now, as you can see, Super Metroid is uh, kind of playing in the background here. Um, it has a Bluetooth controller and a HDMI out. Uh, it's a pretty fun system. It's pretty easy to do. And let me pop the top off so you guys can see it. So, on the right side here of the case is actually the uh, Pi 3. Um, connected to the Pi 3 underneath to the where the white light is, is actually the uh, it's a Western Digital Pi Drive. And it's partitioned out to up to five uh, different partitions, so I can have five different uh, Raspberry uh, Pi 3 projects running uh, at different times that I want to, you know, do some fun stuff, either robotics, uh, media center, uh, the retro pie gaming consoles that I got going as well too. So, and that's basically about it. Really, it's a, it's kind of a simple build, just a kind of a box that looks like an old school Nintendo. <laughs> but I think you captured the look perfectly. So talk about the front here and kind of how you incorporated, you know, the pieces into the actual electronics of it. Okay, so let me pop this guy off here. This the this top here, or the uh, actual little. Uh, what you call it thingy? That's what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> <That's> close <laughs> enough. <laughs> um, under this little uh, platform here actually has got the uh, Lego tube. Uh, what, are, what, do, what do you call those? Like a flex tube? Or? Yeah, flex okay. tube. Yeah. So and it sits behind this little button that's right here actually, and it kind of snakes around here. To what I have hooked up here is another button that's plugged into the audio jack. Um, I don't remember the actual technical term, but there's a YouTuber called ETA Prime. He calls them the Belkin button. So if you want to YouTube that, there's a couple uh, soldering connections for one wire on the bottom side of this that allows you to, if you push it and hold it down, it does a soft shutdown running a script, allowing it not to screw anything up. Okay. It doesn't save anything, but it doesn't screw up the actual system or corrupt any of the, uh, the memory that's on it as well. Um, and it's super simple. You just hold. It starts to flash, does its thing, and runs a shutdown script. And then to turn it back on, you just hit it again. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you incorporated that perfectly into there. When, when you first started, did you have kind of any plans drawn out or anything? Or was it pretty much just sit down and start building and incorporate the electronics as you went along? So it started with just the Pi 3 uh, computer is really what it boiled down to. And it started off with a little Nintendo, itty bitty Nintendo case, because I thought it'd be kind of fun to do. Then I got the Pi drive. I was like, well, I'll make it a little bit bigger. But by the time I was done with it, it was almost the size of a regular Nintendo. So I said, why not? Um, I, got, I go on the road a lot and travel and stuff. So um, I said, well, what am I going to do with all this extra space? So I put the platforms in so the controller can actually slide in there. And all the uh, available uh, cords that I need, HDMI cord, the power cord, can all fit in there. Wow. And I just shove it in my backpack. And it goes. I get stopped at the airport all the time with it going, what is this thing? It looks kind of questionable. I was like, it's just a Nintendo. You've never seen a Lego Nintendo? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> it's always fun and entertaining, so I always give myself an extra 30 minutes at the airport when I need to. So. <laughs> there you go, yeah. Well, that's awesome. You got the whole screen and keyboard set up and everything yep. here so you can sit and play it. Have, have you had the public playing it, or is it just, just you? Uh, it's primarily actually been the kids that are in part of the uh, the, the convention oh, yeah. that I've had playing and yeah. trying to keep the public off of it because I don't want them screwing up the sure, yeah. <laughs> the, the controller or anything. <laughs> nice. Well, thanks so much for bringing us to the show here. It's always awesome to see kind of Lego combined with other uh, products and electronics and things like that. So very cool. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it. Thank you.